IQ and educational attainment controlling for the effects of socioeconomic status on IQ is equal to 0.452 and the significance level is actually the significance level over here. So the um, statistical significance level associated with this row applies to all the coefficients. Uh, it doesn't apply to the zero order correlation, sorry, but it does apply to the partial pa uh, uh, part and the beta weights. So that's how we infer the statistical significance of a semi-partial correlation. We simply refer to this uh, significance here. All right, and what SPSS has done, because I've ask, actually asked it to produce a residualized variable, but um, I'm actually going to ignore that now because I want to follow that step a little more thoroughly. And in, in a, uh, yeah, I want to follow it in a bit, a bit different scenario. So what I've done there, just to recap, is I've calculated the semi-partial correlation between IQ and educational attainment controlling for the socioeconomic status on IQ. Now, what if I wanted to know the semi-partial correlation between IQ and educational attainment controlling for the effects of socioeconomic status on educational attainment? In that case, you cannot do the multiple regression analysis. What you're left with doing is doing a regression and residualizing the education variable from the effects of socioeconomic status in its own step. And how do you do that? The same way that I did it in the partial correlation video. You go into regression, linear, and now take IQ out. So I'm going to regress educational attainment on socioeconomic status, and I'm going to save those as unstandardized residuals. All right, it doesn't matter which ones you which ones you choose. I'm choosing unstandardized. Click OK. What's going to happen is I'm going to get a variable called educational attainment that is uh, in, independent of the effects of socioeconomic status. Click OK. All right, so it's produced this residual variable, and I'm going to call that educational attainment residual. And now I can calculate the Pearson correlation between IQ and educational attainment residual, and that's going to be the semi-partial correlation. So we're going to analyze, correlate, bivariate. So IQ and educational attainment residual, and I click OK, and I get a correlation of 0.436. Okay, so the correlation between IQ and educational attainment independent of the effects of socioeconomic status uh, on educational attainment is 0.436. We can also uh, create a scatter plot of this semi-partial correlation. Go into graph, leg legacy dialogues, scatter, simple, define. I've got my educational attainment residual. I got my IQ variable, put that into the x-axis, click OK, and here's my 0.436 correlation represented in a scatter plot. And that's the bonus, that's the benefit of doing semi-partial correlations with residualized variables rather than going into the uh, multiple regression analysis. But I guess the benefit of going through the multiple regression analysis is that you get a p-value that's actually accurate. I will note that this Pearson correlation, the p-value is very significant, and it would still be significant, but there's one degree of freedom that's uh, being added to this analysis that actually should be stripped away. Uh, but I will talk that about that in a future lecture video rather than this uh, video demonstration tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation or tutorial on semi-partial correlations, and I'll see you next time.